for viewing online, we're now going to be moving into what's called the biggest challenge segment. So what you're going to do is think about the biggest challenges you have in your company, in your life. Um, for Tanglewood, we've noticed that our biggest challenge has been communication. We have several different departments in our company, and sometimes we find that one company's going on with one thing, and they, oops, they forgot to tell the other side what was going on in that, and then when we get to a point where it meets, it's like, oh, I forgot to say this to you, and that affects something huge in the company. So that's one of our biggest challenges. Um, one of our second biggest challenges is completing loops. So we'll start doing something, and then we'll forget to go back and see if we've closed off what we started. Um, so for an example, if we start building a crate, and then we get distracted, and we stop building that crate, and then all of a sudden it's shipping time, and the crate's not done. So we forgot a big step, and we can't ship now on time. So we're going to break off now in your groups and work on your biggest challenges. So what's your biggest challenge? Sure, biggest challenge. Mine is time here. Uh, mine is uh, hard time prioritizing. Uh, yeah, what I need to get done, and then uh, what other people's priorities are. <laughs> Compared to mine, you know, they, they have different priorities, and they want their done first, and I need to get mine done first. But prioritizing is going to work. Um, and you know, any other things? Yeah. So, can I yell you? I was thinking about your challenge with the seven moms. Right. I was thinking, you know, the way we do is that on Saturday morning, there's a mastermind call that's devoted specifically to single moms. And helping single moms realize how to take back control of their lives. It's a great call. I, I do it, I'm sorry if I remember. Yeah, yeah, no, I, no, I, I do it because I'm a single dad. Oh, yeah, so a single dad. But it, it is a really helpful call. Great call. So the whole purpose is to get them to recognize totally that, that. So being a single mom, like most people think of single moms as being so disadvantaged, right? Like, okay. But what we have discovered is that being a single so mom or a single dad <laughs> can actually be an advantage. Yeah, if you change the way you think, she was mm -hmm. talking about changing our ways. If we change the way we think, we start to recognize the advantages of being a single mom or a single like for example, do you know that uh, like fifty percent of the men who became United States presidents were brought up by single moms? Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. That's why they see single moms so well. So they carry single moms to be single. I got it, I got it, I see that. So most people think that if, if, a, if a kid grows up in a happy you know, household with a mother and father, and they have everything they need to be happy to be alive, that's actually the answer.
Yeah, okay, good. You, are, you have YouTube. So and then whoever you okay, I can, I can fast forward to them to see anything. Whoever, like, this is the last person that has to be trained. You know, I need this person to do something different. Mm -hmm. Do they have? I have other oh, responsibilities, yeah. or they come in, so they feel comfortable with me. They've got that lower in their character. So, but I can't just ask them. Not sure they're. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there, there, there would be a million. Are they, are they Asians, or are they, uh, are they from around here? From, from the U.S.? Are they American? They are American. They have uh, one white single mom. Okay. Okay. Amy, is it Q H E A at Yahoo.com? Okay. No, I have it. I should have it. I want to know which Sir, what would be the language barrier? Yeah. 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 So, so Jason, so would that work for you if you were to do that? I, I see. I've, I've tried. Um, I've tried right now my uh, my priorities and everything. But then when uh, then I have uh, other people coming to me and saying, you know, I need to do more. So then their priorities always my priorities. That's where I'm. I'm running the most of my trial. It's trying to figure out whether to tell them that it's going to have to wait or whether I can come on. And then the list keeps building and building and building and it gets so big. So if somebody came to you with that problem, right? Yeah, good. See, if you can start to like think that way yourself, and you don't need me or anybody. You know, and that's really the, the beginning, I mean, that's where Mastermind Seminars came from, actually. You know, the, the, I think the original idea for Mastermind Seminars, or Mastermind Groups, was by this imaginary, it comes from Napoleon Hill, comes from this, uh, put it together, think of people who you really respect. Because a lot of things... You're right, uh, it's just and, and it's a way picture that you have on the board, the mastermind.